where I chose the life of the beach combers. So where are we? We are at uh, Beach 69. We love you. I want to thank you so much for all the great years that we've been together, that you started out my career, really. You jumpstarted my career when I was in high school. I'll never forget, you recommended me to Disneyland. They were looking for musicians. You and Bob Edmondson really were so wonderful to all of us. Clyde and I were in the studios together from, I met him in 57, I think, when wow. he got out of the service and came uh -huh. to Hollywood when we first met. Actually, it was 58, huh? <clears throat> all right, 58. Yeah. And that same year that I met Slide is the year I went on Harry James's game. Uh -huh. So I was gone for two years when Slide was getting introduced to Hollywood. When I came off Harry's band, we started being in different rehearsal bands together. Uh -huh. And then uh, in the 60s, uh, started doing the record dates together. Uh -huh. There was a, uh, Lou McCreary, who was a wonderful trombone player, got Slide in. Great player. He liked the way Slide played. Uh -huh. Lou was, man, he was an ace. He, he was I, a guy. Yeah. He was a man. Yeah. Uh, Lou and I really changed the way uh, players play because and took the business away from New York at that time because those guys all wanted to play Count Basie swing, uh -huh. which is fine. I, my favorite too. Right. But and now for rock and roll. <coughs> uh -huh. The rhythm section was playing even eighth notes. Mm -hmm. so those mm -hmm. guys didn't want to come down and do that or something. Uh -huh. Da 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 da. <coughs> we were, we, yeah, we were, comes up with the. Slur two, tongue two, and ta 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 pa pa. Oh, okay. Ta pa 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 pa. Other guys would go ba 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 do ba do ba ba do ba. Was the way everybody would want to play. Right, right. But because we played it the way the rhythm section was playing it, it became a hit record. Yeah. And so we, the brass things that we put on the little hooks, Chuck used to call it the icing on the cake. Uh huh. And uh, that's kind of what it is. It's uh, the hook here and there, you mm -hmm. know. Whether it's in the rhythm or the... It used to be... My brother-in-law said that, I see you on the game. <coughs> yeah, <laughs> it's uh, a good one. Uh, uh, yeah. So many of the recordings that we did that are now paying off for the first time, our time again. And uh, we were very, very fortunate to be in that era of music. And I remember also the uh, time I subbed for you on the Harry James Band in Las Vegas, which was a big thrill for me. I don't know what it was for you, but it was for me. And. Uh, all this time that we spent with the Swing Incorporated and, and all the kids that came out of there that are, have gone on to be so successful now. And uh, you did an awful lot of good stuff there. <laughs> school 
and I first met you, you were teaching the Larry Ferguson School of Music and I was studying there with Herbie Harper. And then uh, fast forward a few years, we got together on the Harry James Band and got to play with some great soloists like Willie Smith and Ray Sims and of course Harry. And I remember the time we went in for some reason to Harry's office and you told him that when he finished his yearly vacation at the racetrack, that he needed to get the band back together and work it because it was sounding real good. And as a result of that, we wound up in Las Vegas in the lounge, first band to play the lounge there. And you opened up Las Vegas to big band. I still got to do a couple more to let the blood come back. Okay. This is just a wear out that I do several times a day to be able to play on the weekend. Uh, I could be practicing all kinds of scales and studies and things, but I did that for years. So all I do is beat myself up like this a couple of three times a day. <coughs> I just had a tooth pulled back here, and I'm afraid of blowing the uh, the blood clot out. So I'm holding it easy back some, but that's what I do that several times a day. That's my life, and I also every time I get up, I say thank you, man. You'd be surprised how helpful it is to say thank you and be thankful for all the things that you have around you. You know, and the beautiful plants, and the air, and the sky, and your friends, and we're lucky to be here. And the thing we watched the wheel, I mean, in my lifetime, and they used to deliver milk with a horse drawn carriage, you know. I've seen the automobile, the airplane, and we say nothing of TV and the computers, and what a great time to have been alive. And it's just going to keep on going like that for everybody that wants to witness it and can enjoy it, because that's what we're here to do is enjoy our trip. It's a good one, but short as hell. Ha, ha, ha.